Howdy, it's Matt, and in this episode, a special delivery. Let's open this one up, and I am going a little bit careful with it because I know what's inside of the box. Now, those of you which watch uh, Vortex on YouTube will know that he's just been bought a load of Lion batteries for his next mental electric bike stroke motorbike uh, project, and that's exactly what we've got here. What I noticed in his video is that he did put up this video of some really inexpensive, ooh, chewies, uh, Lion battery packs. Now, I've gone for 18650s. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure how much I paid per sale, but I put it this way, the whole order was £104. Uh, and, wow, that's the one with all the batteries in it. Now, if you didn't know, in short, let me grab one of these battery packs, is that what I've been doing, and I've had absolutely fantastic success with, is soldering up uh, my own little Lion battery packs. Now, I don't have one of those little fancy uh, spot welders, but I do have a soldering iron, and nerves are still, well, as I found out in a video a very short while ago, uh, is that you have to put a blowtorch on these for over two and a half minutes for them to explode. So a second with a soldering iron is absolutely nothing. So. That's what, that's what I'm using for, I'm using for inside of uh, models. I've used Lion batteries here for absolutely ages. Uh, let me grab the goggles, uh, because that's where, I, that's where I had been using them the most, the Lion batteries, uh, is because they have just, the Fat Shot batteries which I had were just dying every two minutes, and you'll notice in there, that's the 18650 batteries in there, inside of the Fat Shot goggles, so I didn't have to change my goggles every five minutes, it was getting very frustrating. Uh, and the nice thing about 18650s is that they are more power dense uh, compared to LiPo batteries. However, what you get in one hand, it gets taken away with another one. And generally speaking, price is the big negative when it comes to Lion batteries. However, that's where I need to get this company names right. Is it Fogstar? Some at wholesale? Yeah, Fogstar Limited. It's a wholesale company. The minimum order is £60, uh, and that's pounds sterling. Uh, and we need to work out how I'm going to get in here. Aha! Fantastic. So you'll notice there's two different colour cells, uh, and I'll get to why that is in a moment, and you'll notice that there's a whole box full of these here as well. Now these should have been customised with something extra written on the side of them, and yes, there we go. Can you see that on there? <laughs> it definitely says rag the nuts off. <laughs> right, let me just talk about practical points of view with when dealing with Lion batteries. Is that these have no battery safety circuit in them, so you can draw more current than what they are designed for. You could overcharge them, you could overheat them, you could do lots of bad things to them because they don't have the protection circuits in them. That is perfectly fine by me because you'll know notice that there's a little balance lead on here and I'll always balance lead these ones and be extremely careful with them. That said, you also have to you have the challenge of joining these cells together. Uh, so if I just pick on that little 2S to begin with, okay, so if I can get in, well actually I want to have a look at these purple ones, uh, so these blue ones. So if we grab these, like so, and I, but I will put links to these in the video description so you can see exactly ones, which ones I went for and the specifications. So what we've got there is a 2S 1P battery. Okay, so it's 2S because there's two cells, and it's 1P because it's one battery in parallel. So if I wanted double the capacity but to be 2S, then I could put four of these together and then it would be 2S and then 2P and of course I could go wider or I could put four of these together and make a 4S battery or make a 3S or just using your imagination if set that as 3S and put the other, and I know they're the wrong way around, you just making the point, is that I would go from say 3,400 milliampers to, and I would, you would also, you wouldn't mix these batteries, but you could then go to 6,800 by putting them into parallel, okay? Uh, and that's a really bad explanation, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Uh, and anyway, getting back to my point. So, 
There are some practical issues with these, is that A, they don't have a spot welder, so for Andy's gonna get his spot welder put together. Now, I do join these together with some nickel wire, which you may be able to see in the bottom of there, and I do solder in them. I literally just get a sand in, that's 240 uh, grit, to sand it on there, put some flux on the bottom, uh, flux pen, 399 from uh, eBay, give it a big blob, get some solder on the bottom of that, literally less than, not even a half a second to get some solder to flow on the bottom of there, so people worried about the heat soak from the solder into the bottom, it's not very long, especially if you just give it a quick blow on the top as well, just to dissipate the heat a bit. And then what that means is that I can now make these battery packs any which way I like. So for, let me give you a practical real world example. Uh, I am wandering away off to my desk over here. Uh, and I could perhaps suggest that this is the Dart 250, which I've been running that 2S Lion pack in there. Uh, and 40 kilometers is not out of this model's range because of those batteries. So 40 kilometers total distance is not out of the range of this little model because of those batteries and the uh, Zo HD Drift as well. Um, just putting these things to the perspective, they can because they are more power dense, okay, is that you can keep your models. So imagine the size of a 3,400 milliamp for li uh, Lion, uh, sorry, LiPo pack, okay, compared to the size of that. That's the difference, okay, compared to LiPos. However, these are way, way more expensive and normally you have to just solder them up yourself. So I've just grabbed these on my phone. These are the LG M. 36. Now these are rated, so they're an 18650 size, so that's the length by the width of the cell themselves, okay? Uh, and these are rated for 3,600 milliampheres. Now the maximum discharge rating on these cells, it's always this fine balancing act between the amount of current which you can pull and the amount of capacity which the battery has. So I'm actually going to make two extra 2S battery packs of these so I get a little bit of extra flight time uh, in the dart or maybe the drift for example but that there would be 3,600 milliampheres. Imagine the time uh, which you would fly in the sky for, for that. Now, I don't can't see the oh, specifications. Let me just check the voltage range. Right, so these are just like LiPos. You can charge them all the way up to 4.2 volts. Now, it's not giving me a minimum there in the specifications, uh, but what you can normally do with such cells is actually run them into the ground uh, all the way down to 2.5 volts. Now, don't just be aware, there are, are, there are implications of running a Lion battery pack all the way down to 2.5 volts so if you think about a normal lipo you literally go from uh, so 4.2 down to 3.3 lion batteries will go all the way down to 2.5 now there are a few practical points with that is obviously you if you're in your flight controller you're going to want to change the cell settings for it uh, you will want to change your ESC so it doesn't freak out or do a power cutoff when the voltage gets too low. You may even need to set your ESC so it thinks that it's NICADs which are attached and not LIONs or, li or, or LIPOs because most ES ESCs are not smart enough to realise that you're running uh, LIONs instead of LIPOs and that, as such have a much wider range of voltage. Uh, and of course, the, the, there's the other daft one, other electrical components within your system may stop working. So perhaps you have a VTX which requires, or an FPV camera, which requires a minimum of say six volts is potentially you could go end up with no camera or no video transmitter because you've dropped below six volts. That is a real possibility uh, on the limits when it comes to 18650s. And again, this is why you need to go into this eyes wide open and have other things in uh, and get your experience up to level and know the components within your aircraft so that you know what's gonna happen at specific voltages. Okay, so quickly looking at the other one as well. Those were some Panasonics, let me get these out. So these are, I've had fantastic experience with these. Uh, that's why I went from a second time around. I don't think it's gonna focus uh, for us. Uh, they are NCR 18650Bs. Uh, I am just trying to look them up here in the list. And let me just go back a moment. 
Yep, yeah, these were £2.59 per cell, so £2.60. Now, some of these are actually for the lads at the uh, Funny Farm because they've got projects and stuff which they'd like to do. Uh, now, these are rated for 3,400 mAh, but have a higher current rating at 6.4 amps. Now, here's the thing. This is why picking the cells for the right model and the right circumstances is that I know that this model pulls no more than 6 amps. Now, that is a burst current. Okay, so on takeoff, uh, I would technically be slightly over the current capacity of these at 5 amps, but I could turn down the settings in the dart uh, and also the drift, so I never hit that level. And of course, continuously flying in the sky as well is that it's anywhere between 1 and 3 amps maximum, so it's not like I'm running. 5 amps or 6 amps all the time is a very short burst in the whole life uh, or the whole flight. Okay, so it's always things into perspective. However, these uh, Panasonic ones, they're 3,400 mAh and they have a higher current rate into 6.4. Now, that's interesting to me because of maybe the older bird, for example, uh, for me to make up a bigger pack. Let me, I've got an example here which I really must finish off. Uh, these are some MJ1 uh, cells, some LG MJ1 cells, uh, and these are rated very similar to these, just 3,500 mAh, and I think these ones were 10 amps per cell. Um, so, um, in theory I can run 20 amps through this because it's 4s but 2p okay they're, they're in parallel uh, so yeah that's why I've got that set up in that pack now the reason why I've gone for some of the more of these cells is so that I can make a larger version of that in 4s uh, so uh, the way which my pack will be set up is that it will be if I can get another one of these out okay it'll all be in the same direction so that's 3400 then another 3,400, so 6,800, and another 3,400 on top. So we're getting into crazy territory now uh, for the size versus weight. So imagine the size of the LiPo battery, which we're getting to. So for, so that was, what did we say, 6,800, 7,200. So that's 10,200 milliamp fears set up in a pack of these lions. So that is, uh, and that's two 5,200 4S packs. Uh, for nine of these batteries. So yeah, huge, huge potential of Lions. Uh, and that, I hope that makes kind of sense. That, uh, I, I know I'm not going into any technical, too technical here, if that makes sense. Um, but my use case for these batteries are the Dart and the Drift and the Olber and maybe the Mini Talon. Uh, I, I am just thinking about it over here on my desk. I do actually have the pack from this morning uh, still charging. Uh, and the, the battery which I'm actually using to charge it uh, is a great big, let me get, get you one of a couple of those cells so you can see the size of them. So these are slightly larger and I bought these from AliExpress, I did a separate video on how to make Lion battery packs. Uh, and these are 2650s and these are 5000 mAh each, however the size of them is double uh, and it's not it doesn't appear to be like a scaling process like twice the size of the battery which that one pretty much looks like doesn't it uh, it doesn't appear to be twice the size of the capacity so uh, the sweet spot is these 18650 batteries and they do work extremely well and you'll see me using these 80, these 2650s and I've flown I'm not going to tell you how far I've flown with that fat battery pack, but it was a definitely a personal best. Uh, and when it's at home being used uh, on here on the workbench, then I use it as uh, a very silent charger uh, for any 18650 battery packs which I've been using. And you'll see that, that there I am just charging it up on the normal LiPo setting uh, because some 18650s only go from f uh, to 4.1 volts. However, other 18650s, like the ones which I've chosen, will charge up to 4.2 volts. Now, just a quick practical tip from just my own experience with working with these ones, uh, is that I'll obviously charge up the pack uh, and then go out and fly it. But the next time I go out and fly it is that what I'll then do, and apologies for my phone, is that what I will then do is just before the flight, I will stick the battery pack on charge Okay, because what I find with the with the Lion cells is that they like to drop down to like maybe 4.15 volts. 
that's where they, or the, what, all the cells I've got here anyway, seem to like to do that. So what I'll normally do, just before a fly, literally five, five, ten minutes before a fly, I'll stick the battery on charge and bring them right up to 4.2. So at the moment of launch, I'm up at 8.4 volts on a fully charged 2S pack, uh, and it's that extra bit of voltage just to get the model into the sky uh, and gives me that extra, or could give you that extra little bit of flight time. So there you go, This, these cells, they came in at literally £104 and I ordered them yesterday lunchtime and they turned up today. Super impressed with Fog, um, Fogstar, uh, that was the name of the company, I'm going to remember it in a minute. Yeah, Fogstar Limited. Uh, I'll put a link to their website in the, in the video description. Not affiliated with them at all, and I also want to say a massive thanks up to Tony for uh, introducing me into that site because 18650s can be stupidly expensive. When these cells first came out, when I used to vape, um, I was paying like 10, 12 pounds per cell to go in the vape, okay? Uh, and now I paid £2.59, which is just stupidly cheap. And yes, I had to buy a load of them, okay, £104 of them, but the minimum order was £60. Uh, but remember, some of these I'm, I'm sure that, that some of these are already being paid for by the other lads which I'm flying with. So it's kind of like the horses for courses. If you've got some friends which are also going to be using them, happy days. Or for your own personal uses, uh, maybe in your fat shot goggles, inside your models, then yeah, it could be a worthwhile adventure for you. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, by the way, technical specifications, I'll include the links below to the exact cells which I've purchased. Remember, they're not affiliate links. I've never met or seen this company before, before I saw Tony's recommendation on them. Uh, and I did like the, the they did customize the cells as well. I've, there was no extra charge and there was literally no extra delay uh, on the delivery that on for them putting the print and that on there because I had literally ordered yesterday afternoon and they turned up today. So yeah, happy, happy days. I need to go make myself some more Lion packs. So on that, on that note, for myself, Matt, a big thank you to you for taking the time to join me here at the workbench. Any questions or comments, video description below. Oh, if you're new here, by the way, I'm Matt. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to press the red subscribe button. And of course, press the bell notification because we could be out maybe flying the Dart 250 on a Lion Pack or maybe, maybe making a Lion Pack. And by the way, if you want to know how to make a Lion Cell battery pack in the top right hand corner and in the video description, uh, I've made a video this, on this previously while I was making that big pack. Uh, so soldering up these uh, 2650 battery pack cells to make my own Lion Cells. Uh, and as you can see, literally now a year on, I'm still using that battery pack and it's still performing really, really well. Which actually reminds me, one of the other benefits of uh, Lion cells is that you, generally speaking, you have a higher, uh, a much greater lifetime to these cells compared to LiPo batteries. So the number of charges and discharge cycles which these can go through is typically greater than a LiPo battery pack. So yeah, remember with batteries, it's always a balance. It's a balance between price, it's between weight, capacity, currents, lifetime of that, of that cycles, etc., etc., and voltages too. So yeah, do your own research. Those are the ones which I've plumbed for. Uh, and remember, I bought these out of my own money, literally for my own abuses. Anyway, it's time for me to go. Big thank you to you for taking the time to join me, and I'll see you again shortly. Cheerios!